Hello and welcome to the advent of automation, your personal 20-day guide to streamlining your BI workflow. This is day two of our learning journey where we will explore how to add a Power Automate button to a Power BI report, enabling us to trigger automation directly from Power BI. Triggers are a critical concept in Power Automate. They initiate the automation process, essentially instructing the app to start running the flow. Think of triggers and actions as an if this, then then concept. If the trigger gets activated, then the action come into play. This principle forms the backbone of all automation. With that said, let's dive in. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to guide you through the world of data analytics and automation. If this is your first time around here, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons so you won't miss any of my tutorials. It means a lot to me and helps others to find content like this. The button click trigger starts a flow in Power Automate when a user clicks a button within a Power BI report. It's a simple yet effective way to merge data insights with actionable steps. For example, if a condition is met in your visualization, a button can trigger a workflow to send notifications, update records, or perform other automated tasks. Now, let's have a look at how to set this up. Log into Power Automate and create a new flow from the top left corner. Choose Instant Cloud Flow because this type of automation is run manually, based on a click of a button. Name your flow, for example, Power BI button clicked. You can either scroll to find the Power BI button trigger or click skip to locate it later. I click on skip here because I want to show you a limitation of the Power Automate interface, at least as it stands at the time of recording this video. Now we are on the canvas. If I click add a trigger and search for Power BI and select see more under the Power BI connector, you will notice something is missing. There's no trigger for the button press. Unfortunately, in the current version of the new designer look, this specific trigger isn't available. But don't worry, there's a simple workaround. All we need to do is disable the new look using the toggle in the top right corner, right here. Once that's done, search for Power BI again. Now you will see the first trigger listed is Power BI button clicked. Let's select it. This limitation may change in the future as the new designer look is rolled out and the Power Automate team continues updating the interface. Until then, remember that this trigger is currently only accessible through the classic designer experience. Now, back to the automation. Now that we have our starting point, the trigger, as the first step of the flow, it's time to add an action. Every automation needs at least one trigger and one action. For simplicity, I'm going to click on New Stop and search for current time. This action will display the time when someone presses a button in a Power BI report. Next, we name and save the flow and head over to the dummy Power BI report. Since we are focusing on Power Automate in this tutorial, my report is completely blank. But that doesn't stop us from testing some awesome Power Automate features. I'm editing this report online and all I have to do is click on the Power Automate visual from the visualization pane. This visual provides a helpful guide for linking the button to your Power Automate flow. Here's how to do it. Click on the three dots at the bottom right corner of the visual and select Edit. This opens the Power Automate interface where you will see a list of all the flows you've created that can be used in Power BI. I select the flow we just created to display the current time. On the next screen, click Apply in the top left corner you will see a confirmation message indicating that the action was successful. Now we can return to the report and save it. Pressing the button will trigger our flow. In the Run History section in Power Automate, we will see a successful run. By checking the run details, you can confirm the date and time when the flow was executed. The Power BI button click trigger is one of my most frequently used and implemented features. While in this tutorial we keep things simple with the show current date and time action, the possibilities are endless in real-world scenarios. Here are a few examples of how this trigger can be used. Sales alert. If a report shows sales are below target, clicking the button can trigger a workflow that alerts the sales team to take immediate actions. Inventory management. 
when inventory levels for a particular item fall below a certain threshold, a button click can send an automated alert to the inventory management team, prompting them to reorder stock. Customer communications. A button click can initiate a workflow that automatically sends reminder emails to customers, updates invoice statuses in the database, and logs the action for future reference. Later in this learning journey, I'll demo more complex flows using the button click trigger. But for now, I think we covered everything for this introduction. A word of caution before we wrap up. Always ensure that the Power Automate button is well placed in your Power BI report and labeled clearly to avoid any confusion. A simple label like run flow might not provide enough context for users to understand what will happen when they click the button. Also, make sure the flow runs smoothly, especially as you add more complex actions to it. Test it to identify any potential issues and monitor and optimize the automation for improved runtimes and efficiency. I hope you enjoyed this series and by the end of December, or whenever you complete the learning, you will have some great automation ideas to enhance your BI workflow. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below and I do my best to answer them quickly. Thanks for staying till the end. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, check out these tutorials to take your data, analytics and automation journey to the next level. Until the next one, see ya!